So I'm Marianne, I'm the CEO here at Berry Housing. Um, so Berry Housing is a social and affordable housing provider. We have 964 units for rent here in the city of Berry. So we are the largest uh, renter or landlord in the city of Berry. Uh, we are a private not-for-profit organization and uh, we house about 3,000 tenants within the city. So Barry Housing initially started in the 80s when they started the construction. Um, initially it was owned by the city of Barry, but um, through different changes in legislation and policy, um, it became a private not-for-profit. I would say probably late 90s, early 2000s. Um, and since then we have been like a private not-for-profit. So we have no affiliation to the city of Barry, which is a misconception that we get a lot. Um, but since 2016, we've been self-managed. So before that, we were always run by property management companies, um, but now we have our own internal structure and we sort of run things all internally now. So we're 100% rental. So all of our tenants, um, they rent. So um, kind of with us, sometimes long-term, sometimes temporary until they can afford to buy a house or they move to different areas in this other the city or outside of Barry. Uh, with Habitat, they work with people to build homes that are affordable. With us, we're just 100% rental. So Beyond Homes, um, our foundation that we recently created became a project. Um, Post-COVID, we noticed a lot of our tenants were really struggling um, in affordable and social housing. We definitely saw that pre-COVID, but I think with all the issues, um, people being self-isolated, people losing their jobs because of shutdowns, we definitely noticed our tenants were struggling. Um, so we allocated a small portion of our budget to run programming and to help uh, some of our tenants get through some difficult situations. But what we were finding is that was a lot more than we could handle with the budget we had allocated. Keeping in mind we're also a landlord, so we have to make sure that our buildings are maintained um, and that they're safe and affordable for our tenants that are living there. So what our board of directors decided to do in conjunction with our staff is create this brand new foundation. So the idea behind the foundation is that we were able to run programming, uh, assist our tenants uh, to access different social services throughout the city and help them navigate um, while still maintaining their tenancy and ensuring that they still have a place to call home. Right. So right now we're focusing on our tenants. Um, we have a newly created community development team that will be working with the foundation that our tenants can access. So they have built all these community partnerships with different agencies and um, can help navigate tenants, you know, if they're running into food security issues or if they're running into mental health or physical, um, we can kind of sit down with them and come up with a role plan. But we also have access to technology, so some of our older adults, we can bring tablets with us so they can sign up for services um, and help them sort of navigate the system uh, without having to do it alone. Um, there's a lot of great services here in Simcoe County, but for new Canadians or someone who's never had to use them before, or for our older adults, it can be very intimidating um, and very difficult if you've never done with it before. It's been very positive. Um, the one thing we wanted to do was keep the landlord aspect away from the social services side. Um, it can be very intimidating to go to your landlord to ask them for assistance and then you know us having to go and talk about paying your rent mm -hmm. so having somewhere to go that's away from the landlord and you feel like you have an advocate at the table it makes things so much easier for our tenants um, the community seems really excited we've had a lot of people reach out and ask us to present um, looking for different ways to donate we received some funding already like for programming throughout the summer um, and then, like I said, the tenants are really excited because it gives them different places to go. I know our community development office, there's always kids popping in and out for popsicles or just to watch TV. If it's a rainy day, we kind of have an open door policy with there. So for information on Barry Housing itself, for units, uh, we do have an email address called info at Barry Housing. Uh, info at housing info at barryhousing.com if you need to email it or check out our website. We have everything listed in there. Um, unfortunately, with the city's housing uh, crisis, it does take a while to find locations, but um, not only do our staff put you on lists of ours, but they can help people navigate Simcoe County and other areas that can benefit them if, they, if we know of any other housing that it's um, renting out currently. 
for the foundation, if you email out to community at berryhousing.com, um, our community development team will pick up that email and can either assist you with accessing social services, um, volunteering with Berry Housing. We're in the process right now of creating a very fulsome volunteer package or program to make sure that you know our high school students that live in our building can get their 40 hours within their home and build that respect of where they live. Um, so we have a variety of different programs that are coming down the line and as we move forward with the organization there'll be some new things coming forward.